Okay, so let's talk about final timeline for what you can expect in the H2B Nanny Visa program. The earliest step is the prevailing wage. You wanna file the prevailing wage probably three months out from your filing date, which are gonna be January 1st and July 1st if we're not adding um, on to our considerations, these kind of additional visas that can be released. There's 33,000 visas in either cycle. And to be on time, we need to have the prevailing wage in well before that. Um, it used to take four weeks to get the prevailing wage. I've been seeing six or seven weeks this year, and that's really continued a trend of that uh, prevailing wage time getting longer and longer and longer with each passing cycle. So now already in October is, is a good time to start. The latest I would file your prevailing wage is, uh, you know, very middle of November, because even then you're cutting it close in terms of getting that back before the, um, the holidays hit and the Department of Labor shuts down, you're probably not gonna get it before that January 1st deadline, okay? Your prevailing wage, you already need to have in place a entity, so it's a sole proprietorship or LLC. You're gonna to wanna to have your own contact number that's gonna be separate from probably the contact phone numbers that you use for your personal life. You're probably gonna want a separate contact email from the one that you use, otherwise you will get overburdened. And you wanna have a job description already in place so that you can file that prevailing wage. These are all things, therefore, they can take about a week, right, to set up. Um, so it's not like you can think of it today and then do it today. Although if you're really efficient, maybe you can. After the prevailing wage comes back, you then have to get your Department of Labor certification 9142B statement and evidence ready. This can include like letters from physicians. It can include your own declarations. It can include things like CVs. It can include like getting birth certificates and things ready. And that can typically, typically take a few weeks. And then for this cycle coming up in April, we file in the first three days. Uh, which are gonna be January 1st through 3rd, and we enter a lottery. The lottery gives us results within a week from the Department of Labor. It tells us if we're in group A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it went all the way through G last year. Each group has 20,000 numbers, okay? And last year we had over 140,000 applicants, and so we had A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? And it was just a really big group. And, and people were in the A and B groups typically got their workers. Any Everybody in A who had an approval application and then probably around 60% of B. Um, these are numbers according to the Seasonal Employer Alliance, which I'm a part of, which is a lobby group in DC for the H2B program. And um, you're typically then, if, if you win the lottery, you're then going to get a response about 10 business days, within 10 business days after that from the Department of Labor, that's either going to be an approval or a notice of deficiency telling you what you need to fix in your application. There's a notice of deficiency, there's going to be another 10, day, 10 business day gap. You really want to stay on top of the officers in this case because uh, those notices of deficiency can drag on and kind of take you out of the timeline that you need to be on in order to get your person. If you have an approval, you go straight into a 15 business day recruiting period. Holidays don't count, okay? During that time, you have to post job orders on your door and on your mailbox, and it automatically gets posted on the seasonal uh, website for the Department of Labor, and you have to post it with your state workforce agency. After 15 business days, which can be Saturday and Sunday if, if, if you're a nanny, but doesn't count holidays, you then turn in a recruitment report, and typically within 48 hours, 48 hour business, uh, in a business day, you will get a full certification, okay? So you're already at this point, right? Um, somewhere in early to mid-February, and at that point you can file an application with the USCIS, and you can use premium processing, which gets you a response in 15 days, or normal processing, and if, if you're in mid-February, you can probably do normal processing, right? If you really want your start date of April 1st, if you don't mind having a later start date, you can, you know, normal processing is okay. Otherwise, you can use premium processing, get a response within 15 business days. And once I-129 is approved, you can go on and start scheduling, get your non-immigrant visa filled out and start scheduling all of your um, interviews. Now, when can you start your non-immigrant visa? As soon as you get a receipt number back from USCIS, you can start filling it out because that receipt number is needed to finish your DS-160. Once your visa is approved, you can then go ahead and schedule an interview, okay? That interview is typically going to be, you know, uh, try to get you, it's, it's gonna be something that, can, that you can have on time in, in terms of getting your worker into the U.S. on time. So it, it can be sometime in the March period. For some countries though, it's just not happening, right? You're, you're gonna be, your interviews aren't gonna be scheduled until April. So all in all, in an ideal scenario, the timeline of this process is around six months from when you file your prevailing wage to when you get your worker. Again, we talked about in one video, the three cycle, 
right? The two or three cycle plan, where if you don't hit your lottery, what you wanna do is get through the full certification. So that means going through that 15 day recruitment period, getting a full certification from DOL. And even if you know then you're not gonna get your USCIS worker, you use that full certification and the July process, the process where you file July 1st, because that's usually gonna be an automatic um, approval in that July process. So uh, then you tack on, then you, you do have to refile the prevailing wage for that July process and you tack on the same sort of dates that we talked about for April. And so you could be looking at a process that takes you an entire year because then your worker wouldn't come through until October. So again, depending on you, how you play this, if you're doing the April cycle, you're looking about a six month process. If you look at the October cycle, um, you're looking at a six month process. But if you look at a two cycle strategy or a three cycle strategy, it could be up to a year. So you really wanna to talk to somebody experienced and plan through all of your options. All of this is contained in the Nanny ebook. You can schedule a free 15 month consult on uh, frontiertech.com under the Hire Us tab. Um, I'm happy to talk to you if you have questions and if you want more information. Um, that's what I'm here for. We are the number one law office for this in the country, and I look forward to talking to you. And I'm taking clients through about November 10th. Okay, so do reach out to me uh, soon. All right. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this whole nanny series. If you need to watch more videos, you have more questions and you haven't checked out the videos, there's this one and there's this one and there's this one and there's this one and there's this one. Um, go check them all out. I hope this is a really useful free resource for you and uh, maybe we can chat. I look forward to maybe meeting you. All right, take care.